the two Ducatis for sixth place and Darren McKenzie is now definitely getting in a position on the penultimate lap although these laps are short, sharp and sweet or oh, not so sweet if you don't care for the circuit as much Gino rears through it seems to be a traditional finish in fourth place he moves through in the fourth place and ahead of him the other two the, so the Ducatis are now Here in line of stern McKenzie looks underneath Jason O'Halloran he wants those five points if he's going to take he the champion oh! oh! and he's got no! down and history repeats itself it's only no! this time both the McCams Yamahas go down and out oh! and suddenly it's wide open what? On the, as they went into the final lap then it's a, a, a collision him. between McCams Yamahas Glenn Irwin leads it a second place Christian Hidden third place they for to, Tommy Bridewell they need to get their flags out because Jason was in a, a real precarious position Mackenzie off to the inside where he ended up he's a little bit safer there he's getting his breath back but now the, the, the pack's through yeah it had and to be red a red flag, flag it had to be Jack I, I was fairly certain that was going to be a red flag oh would you believe that I can't believe that so Glenn Irwin takes an unexpected victory for Honda on the fireblade. Christian Hidden, an unexpected second place. Tommy Bridewell inherits third place. And Brooks Let's have a look right. McKenzie up the inside. That's on the left hander. Oh. You, you just can't write the script with Oh, and I'll tell you what. That was they, they, so did, they did a really, really good job. And this is one of the reasons why it's really important. Watch this. McKenzie up the inside. Squirts is a little bit tighter than it would be normally. Halloran around the outside open. To, that'll put him up the inside into the last corner. Loses the rear. Oh, that's just a... Ah, nowhere to go for Jason. That's just unbelievably unfortunate. I hope Jason's all right. I think Chad and McKenzie is. And look at this. This is the worst possible position you can be in right in the middle of the track bikes coming past the 80 miles an hour unsighted oh, desperately looking for the pair of them